Hello everybody and welcome back to our Assassin's Creed Valhalla playthrough. This is episode number 633. So last time we sacked the Escan Seaster Monastery and found a clue to St. George's legendary armor. And despite what I said last episode, this episode we're going to go and sack the monastery along the River Severn. And then we'll have an episode where I build the Rune Forge and probably do like mercantile stuff and... Um, and then go and like do some trade, uh, do like some trading, and then probably do some looting somewhere. Um, and I have an idea where. Um, and then we'll go and we'll explore whatever new river we get, because we're gonna get a new river. Now, um, River X is now heavy river defenses after we hit it twice. We got to see what it looks like when you hit the same river twice. Now the River Severn only has two. Um, I did actually replace the Yomsby Kinger who got hurt, painted face with um, Never Dead Vigo Never Dead. Um, and we're going to hit a small camp first, hopefully a small camp that has regenerated, so that way we can go and then attack a, um, larger camp. Or sorry, so that way we can have some rations when we hit the monastery. Preferably this will be a smaller camp on the way to the monastery, but smaller camp nonetheless. And even if this does increase the river defenses, it'll increase them to moderate, and I think that's pretty, um, pretty alright. Because we hit the River X Monastery with moderate defenses, and we did manage to clean it up. Now, I'm pretty sure this is Wales right now. This river kind of goes along Wales, Gloucestershire, and, um, Hamptonshire. Probably just Wales and Gloucestershire. Um, so yeah, we're going to hit this small camp here. And then we're going to go all the way up here to the monastery, which is way up there. Actually, you know what? Let's hit this small camp here, because it's more along the way. This is a small camp as well, is it not? Yeah. Let's actually hit that one. So we're going to start heading towards, hopefully, the closer uh, place. Um, and then we'll sail around. Now, there are some pretty big areas that we can attack that I'm not going to hit because they're just too big for my taste right now. Um, we've seen that with both River Severn and River X. Eventually I am going to hit them all, but just not right now. Little fishing village here. Have we been there? Oh yeah, it's the Wyther farm. I don't know why I called it a fishing village. Because that looks like a fishing village, not a farm. At least a village. That's why I called it a fishing village. Got some reeds here. This is definitely going to be an ambush point. Yeah, we aren't going to return immediately to the River Severn. We're just going to hit this place here. Actually, this looks like a monastery. Okay, it looks like we're actually sacking a monastery this episode. So it looks like there's actually two monasteries here. I'm a bit surprised. I thought there was only one. So in light of that, I'm going to take this monastery off unless I absolutely have to. And we'll do that next episode if I have to, which will put us at four. Holy crap. I didn't realize there were so many monasteries on the River Severn. I thought this was just a small camp. This is the Island Monastery. Why? Because it's on an island. I like that. It's also really easy to type in. Because I'm going to make that my title. Is Sacking the Island Monastery. Got him. Got him. Got another big bream from a banneret. Don't tell me they took out the heavy marksman. They did. Dang it, they took out the heavy marksman. I wanted to be the one who took him out. Alright, let's revive you. Ooh, someone's head's gone flying. Alright, so there's a ton of enemies up there. We're gonna just start taking... Uh, ooh, this is an ability book through here. So we're gonna grab an ability book. 
We're grabbing foreign supplies. There's only 50, probably because there's 150 total. This does actually make it easier for me to just build the Rune Forge as well. well this is actually a really good uh, mon. It's really good that there's a monastery here because it actually benefits my plans a ton. Alright, let's see what the ability book is. This gives me the Shoulder Bash ability. I can't believe I don't have this yet. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Um, shoulder Bash ability. I've seen this, I just don't have it. Yeah, I can't believe I haven't had, haven't gotten that yet. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go the long way to get through that door. And that's just like a shortcut back out here. Um, and we get plenty of silver from this as well. I keep on forgetting that you get silver. If you loot this area properly, the silver actually pays, like the raids pay for themselves if you loot it properly. Um, they outright pay for itself, I should say. So even if you don't get trinkets, they do pay for themselves. It just depends on how you raid and what you raid. So they're just raiding the banneret. I'm just going to take whatever's in here. Silver. See, we've already gotten 26 silver. We're halfway there to paying off the raiding cost. Go, 15. 24. So no standard bearer greeting us this time. That's really nice. Right, so we only need nine more silver, and this raid has paid itself off. And we're halfway filled with our, um, loot. Now, I don't know if there are any small chests. There are. I want to hit them all. I want to make sure that I collect all of the small chests. Or actually, I think, yeah, these are both small chests. I want to grab them all. These are just really good to grab, because they give you iron ore. They can give you runes. So if you need runes, you can equip them. If you don't, or you just don't really care about the runes, you can sell them off. It's just really useful to grab them. Like, you don't grab the runes, or you don't grab the small chests in this game, for the most part, especially when you're raiding, like, a monastery to your own detriment. Especially if you're going full completionist, but you don't really count these small chests as completionist. I encourage you to just grab as many as possible, because they're really useful. And there we go. So this raid has now just paid itself off. In terms of raw silver. Too late, I've already done it. Unless you guys caught a straggler. There's another piece of wealth there that we can take. This guy's down for the count, it looks like. We got a mastery point, so it looks like all that looting does uh, help out the mastery points. Door is barred, or not. Like, some of these doors are barred, some of them aren't. Hitting the flower can be really annoying when you're trying to loot, or really good when you're surrounded. It really depends. Oh no, it's when it's on the inside like that that it's barred, isn't it? Nope. Can't remember which one of those breakable doors is barred. But all you have to do is that if the door is barred. Okay, so it's underneath. Let's make sure we grab the raspberries. Here's a key. I need to remember to check for the river and chest keys. Alright, the other one's over there. So, I'm actually going to hit this here. Hop right in. And then just throw this. Twice. Because it'll send you flying. Finish you off. Okay, no keys, so let's drink up. Because you can't get drunk when there's free wine or free mead. 
This is an old Roman church, I'm pretty sure, based on those uh, friezes. Another raidable spot not far away, yes I'm aware. But this is going to be a one and done raid. Alright, we've got one more thing we've got to hit. Hopefully we'll also find the key. I don't fancy having to go all the way to the far corner and getting the key. Because that'll mean a second raid along the River Severn. Though, if that does mean a second raid along the River Severn, so be it. Um, actually, we can just sacrifice if I so wanted. Sacrifice, um... I feel great. Uh, sacrifice the, um some of the loot because I'm pretty sure yeah, we'll be like 20 over but or we'll be like way over but that's fine yeah it looks like we're gonna have to go to the next one to find that um, the paper that's a shame Or find the clue. And what I'll do is I'll probably jump out alone, infiltrate for the clue, and then run. Raid completed the island monastery. So yeah, I think I'll infiltrate alone for the clue and then just get going. I'm not gonna like try to be all risky or whatever. Uh, or I won't like try to actually raid the entire thing. Because it'll just be a bit pointless. Spam. Hey, boy! Go at us, Yaldek! So yeah, it looks like hitting a monastery actually maxes it out no matter what. So I'm going to hit that, or at least go there. However, I'm going to stop my long ship short of actually hitting the target, and then I'm going to infiltrate it myself. I don't want to sack it and get destroyed. And it's really funny, because I actually opened it up, and then I saw where the monastery was, like an idiot, and then I just didn't go there. Okay, so I know what to do. Oh great, we got stuck on the rocks again. This is what happened last time we did this. Yeah, we're stuck here. I have to pull out. Are we actually stuck? Ugh, this happened last time. Gonna return to the settlement with our loot. I'll go get that second key. Like, I'm immediately gonna go and do a second key. Um. Or the second clue. I'm immediately gonna head back to grab that second clue. It's all the way in the top corner, which is actually really unfortunate. So I don't know how this is going to work. Um, but I want to do it. So this is going to probably be a bit rage inducing. So we'll have enough to build the rune forge now. But I'm heading right back. Up for some raiding? Yep. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a beeline to that monastery, but I'm gonna stop short of actually hitting the monastery. 
and then I'm gonna go to the top of the hill uh, where the monastery is go find the map because um, yeah we saw it on a hill when we were passing by go on the map or go find the map and then unlock the new river so this is gonna be a tough raid Uh, or this is going to be tough to get there, but once I actually get there, I should be fine. So we're actually going to head to here. I'm going to dock us right there. Now, it is really heavy river defenses, so I don't really... Yeah. Now we're going to slam right into this. Or just right past it. Now I want to try to avoid ambush routes. So I'm going to try to take the big river. Instead of the small shortcut. Because that actually derailed us last time. Oh I have to take a shortcut anyways. Um, taking the shortcut. Yeah you can see the uh, ambush point all set up. One. Is that a blockade right there? Or is that just a destroyed river? Or a destroyed bridge? Because it looks like they're setting up a blockade. This might have been a bad idea. Answer, this was a bad idea. Follow the river. Go, go. Just get going forward. Doesn't matter if they nail us or not. The only goal is to get out of here. And keep pushing. Okay, so we found that small camp has loot. Let's head around there. Alright, I want to head along. It's going to be another uh, defense defensive point there. Yeah, pretty much every point is going to be manned and defended. That is kind of to be expected, though. If we can get by fast enough, we can avoid them, though. And I'm not going to hit a farm or anything. I just want to get moving. Alright, is this where we turn? Yeah, so this is where we're going to turn. Um, we're going to make a move upwards here to try to take a shortcut to the monastery now I'm pretty sure we're gonna face an ambush of some kind but oh shoot I screwed up that turn I may have just screwed this up so badly don't tell me I screwed up yeah I screwed up really badly here so I think I'm just going to have to run the rest of the way. That was bad on my part. In fact, that was really bad on my part. Alright, so we're going to have to make sure to avoid the river raid areas. Um, I actually probably could have gone on foot last time. But hindsight is 50-50. And I, I have to do this on foot. A thousand meter trek on foot. I'm really sorry about this, guys. This was my bad. This was really bad. Okay. Not to me, even assuming I can get straight there. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to have to cross over the river twice, but that's fine. I actually want to see if I can call my long ship over to me here. Okay, so that's how you get out of stuck areas. If you just stick your long ship 
um, on the rocks or something, you can just do this. Okay, that's really good to know, actually. So, we're just going to keep going. I'm actually going to use that mastery point. Um, and then next episode, we are going to build the rune forge. I said we were going to do it, we're going to do it. Here comes the anticipated defense. Alright, my goal is to get us right past this and then I'm going to leave command and hit the monastery myself. Reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want to, um, I don't want to get my crew slaughtered for no real reason. So I'm just going to head up here and do it on my own. However, that'll have to be next episode. So next episode, we're going to unlock a brand new river. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Till then.